Warning, the video and the custom are made by Mr. Grapes Customs, so for any real request or question, please don't write that in the comment section, but contact him privately through the links in the description. Please don't annoy him if you aren't interested for real. Thanks and enjoy the video. And what's up guys, welcome back to another brand new video on Dart's channel. It's always me, Mr. Grapes. Lately you've been seeing me quite a lot on Dart's channel with my awesome customs. <laughs> we may call them. Uh, whatever, this time around I'm bringing you a new custom, of course, which is a battle damage uh, freezer from the Namek Saga, of course. So, um, I know some of you might say, hey, but this is a waste of a figure. You wasted a 1.0 Frieza figure, which costs a lot. Actually, it's not like that, because this is a Deton figure. I also have the box here, uh, which came pretty busted, pretty damaged, because it, came, it comes from China, so it, it was like... It came busted after shipping, that's it. So, basically what I'm bringing you is a bootleg, let's call it, figure, which was customized, as you can see. So, uh, talking about the figure, uh, all the accessories that you see uh, right here were modified. So I added, I simply added some scars and scratches and scuffs and so on. I decided not to add any blood also because the my client asked me not to do it so that's it there we go with the figure itself as you can see this this is the list of accessories that were modified all the rest so all the effects the rock etc etc was not modified and uh, is going to be the same as, as it comes from packaging so let's start off with the Frieza figure itself. So first of all, we can see that, oops, I left the old feet because I was posing him. By the way, um, this is the Frieza figure. As you can see, I added some scratches all over the place on the, on the whole body. Let me give you a nice 360. Also at the back and on the tail as you can probably see hoping that my camera can focus on the um there we go as you can see i added some scratches all over it no blood as i was saying this job was let's say quite uh annoying <laughs> because i had to i had to add all of these small scratches as you can see throughout the body of course without going too further with it because otherwise it will look like messed up and that's not what I want to get so this is it for the figure itself now let's have a look at the accessories and let's see in greater detail what it's all about so let's put the figure aside and there we go this these are the alternate heads so this is the first one oops okay here we go this is the suffering expression there you go i added scars all over the place and this is it for this head whereas this one is the yelling face actually it's quite good I mean, the tongue did quite a good job on these ones. Yeah, that's it. I know it's, it's not gonna sit, but whatever. So this, these are the crossed arms. As you can see, I added some <laughs> scratches here, even though it's not really necessary, but whatever. So then we go ahead with the alternate feet for our figure. There you go. I did the same with the this other pair of feet. There you go. And then all the heads were modified as well. 
So yeah, you can see this one, this one as well. These two hands right here. The last couple of hands, of course, is modified as well. And then the tail, which we can, which we can appreciate in better detail. As you can see, it still keeps moving. I did nothing. I didn't modify the articulations and nothing else. Just added plain, simple scratches to it with, of course, a protective layer of some sort. You know, the transparent protective film that you put, the tr tr transparent protective layer that you put on after you finished working. Just to be sure that the uh, customization that you made is gonna stay there forever so guys this is it for the Frieza custom uh, Frieza is not gonna stay up oh there we go so guys this is it for the Frieza custom I hope you liked it and it it's basically a very easy custom nothing major uh, just a kind of a repaint <laughs> that a client asked me to do so this is it for Dot's channel, this is it from Mr. Grapes. As always guys, please do not comment in the comment section saying where do you get it or how can I get it. Don't comment in the comment section below asking for prices, details, etc, etc, etc. Dart is gonna leave my links in the descriptions. So if you need to know anything about prices, my commission, uh, shipping costs, and whatever, what, what I want not. You can contact me down below in my, uh, for, through my social medias. The, as I said, that is gonna leave you the, um, the links for it, for, especially for my um, Instagram page. So this is it, guys. Let me know if you like it, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.